What's going on everyone? It's Alex here from Alex Physio. So today we're going to be doing a test to look at your overall musculoskeletal health. Welcome. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Alexander Kravich. I'm a physiotherapist in Vancouver, British Columbia. And today I'm going to be going over the sitting rising test a test that looks at your overall musculoskeletal health and fitness, and we're going to grade it on a scale of zero to 10 based on how well you do. This test was examined in a research study by Rito et al. in 2012, where he looked at 2,000 individuals aged 51 to 80 and wanted to find the test that looks at somebody's overall musculoskeletal health and fitness, including flexibility. There's lots of research to support the use of looking at different cardiovascular tests, uh, different aerobic tests to look at your cardiovascular health. However, there wasn't many tests that look at your fitness, your strength, and your flexibility until this test, the sitting rising test. It is a test graded on a scale of zero to 10. The premise is, can you try to sit on the floor and stand without using your hands and knees to assist you? Each time you use a hand or a knee, then you subtract one point from the overall uh, zero to 10 score. And this was graded on this study with a link with the study down below. It was graded on four levels, zero to three, three and a half to five and a half, six to seven and a half, and eight to 10. So I'm gonna show you how a 10 out of 10 score looks, hopefully. Uh, so I'm gonna start and try to sit down without using my hands or knees. So that would be five points for me because I did not use my hands or my knees. And then I'm gonna to try to do a stand without using my hands or my knees. And the key here is that we wanna do it on our bare feet. We wanna have space around us that we can do the test uh, without you know, slipping if we're wearing socks or you know, bumping into objects. And if we use our hands, so if I'm trying to sit down, if I go knee, and sit, I lost two points there. And then when I stand, if I go knee, hand, and then I'm pushing off, that would be another two points subtracted, so then my score would be six. So they, they actually found by doing this test and looking at people age 51 to 80, individuals who scored in the lower end, they're at a six-fold increase of a higher risk of mortality or death than individuals who scored Higher. There you have it. We went over the sitting rising test as a test to look at the health of your musculoskeletal system. Give this movement a go and let me know what your score is down below. Let's see if you can do it without holding on or without using your arms or knees to assist in the sit to stand movement. If you found value in this video, please consider checking out some of my other videos. I have over 450 videos on various physio, exercise, and medical related topics. And if you still find value, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really allows my channel to grow and allows me to reach a wider audience. Until then, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.